fascism inside Europe is ridiculous to begin with. There shouldn't be fascists anywhere in Europe. There shouldn't be fascists anywhere in the world, basically. You know, these are just bullies. Um, they just abuse people, they bully people. Um, and you see them in Europe, you know, they, they're using the swastika, they're marching like they did in the 40s uh, with Hitler, you know, with their hands in the airs and stuff like this. This, this is just insane. And why isn't the European government doing something about it? Why, if the European Commission, why are they supporting all this abuse, you know? Why aren't they screaming and shouting about the rise of fascism throughout Europe? The lies in the media, etc., etc. You know, they come to rape us, they come to do this, they come to do that. Why isn't the media taken to account? Yeah? When you get all this propaganda going through newspapers and everything else, why isn't the... Uh, European government standing up and screaming, this shouldn't happen, why is this newspaper saying this? Let's close these bloody fascists down, you know. This is absolutely insane. If fascists take over, the world won't exist in another ten years. Up until five years ago, the people of Europe were known for their being a civilised society. Now you ask people, what do they think of Europe? <laughs> I've heard some things now, believe it, you believe it or not. Um, we are definitely no longer a civilised society. Um, you know, and basically that's due to the silence of the European government and letting the European Commission do what they like. Um, I'm just shocked that European politicians in the European government stay silent and they know about these abuses. They know what's going on here. They know what's going on in Italy. And they know what's going on in the Mediterranean and everything. And yet they stay silent and they look the other way. If you've seen what I've seen in six years, you've seen the amount of suffering I've seen in six years. You've seen the amount of bodies, babies. You've seen young children screaming because they're covered in scabies and things like this because of the living conditions, because Europe does not want them to have a decent living condition. They want them to live in a summer tent in the middle of the winter. They want them to live in mud. They want them to eat filthy food. Um, this is just so wrong. This is not European. This is just so wrong. It shouldn't happen anywhere in the world, but to happen in a civilised society is fucking totally out of order. It's wrong. Didn't happen. Yeah. So we try our best. There's not enough people doing trying, but now they're shutting humanity down here in Greece. They they don't want any foreign NGOs. They're shutting everything down. Uh, you have countries like Hungary that are totally ultra right wing. You know Europe is collapsing within itself. Um, you read the propaganda on Facebook. What a great job they're doing and everything, and they're not. Quite obviously, they're not, you know, um, and it needs to be addressed. One more. I don't know how you address it with the government, the government, European government looking the other way, uh, and letting the European Commission run Europe. It's it's totally wrong, you know. And people have died. A lot of people have died. Two years ago in April, I, I rolled out a banner on the north coast of Lesbos. And it was the names of 33,000 people that have died trying to get into Europe in the last, then, the last three years before that. Um, now I've been told it's 50 odd thousand people have died. You know, this is women, children, babies. It's just insane.